Hi Taurus, welcome to your spirit messages for October. This is Mary, it's Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a new series. I hope you like this. I'll be doing this monthly. This is messages from your spirit guides, what they want you to know, spiritual guidance. Um, so we'll see what we get here and you may or may not resonate with every single message that comes out. So you take what resonates and you throw away the rest. Um, you can also check the description box below for any all information that you need about me. Tons of stuff there, readings, etc. So please do go check that out. And thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Thank you, thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, uh, donations. Those have reached out for personal readings. Um, all that support really does mean a lot to me. Thank you for being a part of uh, making this channel grow and flourish. I couldn't do it without you guys. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is for Taurus. What does your spirit guides, what is the spiritual guidance for you for October? So I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy Halloween. Okay, so I will get three, about three oracle cards from each oracle deck and then we'll clarify uh, with some tarot. So please leave me some feedback how you like this series. I've also added a new series for singles. So I just did your uh, singles reading who's coming towards me. So if you're single and interested in that, you could check that out. And that'll also be a new monthly reading. All right. So for Taurus, 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 what are the spirit messages? What does spirit want you to know? This is for Taurus. This is the uh, Work Your Light Oracle. All the decks are listed below also. What does spirit want you to know? What does spirit want you to know? Okay. All right. Let's let's pull all of them, and then we'll see what we get for Taurus. What does spirit want Taurus to know for October? What does spirit want Taurus to know for October? Spirit, please. Wow, way too many. I think I'll take that one. What does Spirit want Taurus to know for October, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. What are the messages for Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What are the messages for Taurus? Thank you. I usually take flyers, or if the card sticks in my hand, that's my signal that is your card. So, all right. Let's get three from this deck. Three from this deck. For Taurus. What is the spiritual guidance for Taurus? What does spirit want you to know, Taurus? What does spirit want you to know, Taurus? For October. What is the what are the messages for Taurus spirit, please? Thank you so much. This deck is hard to shuffle. One. Two more for Taurus. Two more for Taurus. One more, one more for Taurus. What does spirit want to tell you, Taurus? All right. Let's see what we have here. So this is the Work Your Light Oracle. Let's see what we have. We have Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. So this is about the Akashic records. This is the universe's plan for you. So whatever is going on for you in your life right now, this is telling you it's divinely guided, something that's meant to be, something that's in your path that's um, meant for you to, a path that's meant for you to go down. Whether you feel that's not the case right now, if you feel like um, you're on a journey, you don't understand it, uh, you don't know why you're going through something or you're going down this journey or why this is happening to you. Akasha, Akashic Records, that's the universe's map, destiny, plan for every human being in the universe. Only God knows that. It's like God's personal record of everybody's life and what their life's journey is. Only the universe knows that. So the universe here is telling you you're being divinely guided through whatever journey that you're on right now. And then we have Mira, who or what is triggering you. So this is about reflection. This is about um, 
something that triggers you emotionally, physically, mentally. Um, so something may be triggering you coming up here and take a break, a life's work, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. So take a break. So whatever you're doing, if you're very, very busy, you have a lot on your plate, uh, you have a lot of burdens, you have a lot of responsibility. This is telling you, you know, overworking, working too much, whatever you're doing. Uh, and that may be what is triggering you. So whatever is triggering you here may be telling you you need to take a break. You need to take a break. All right, so let's see. This is the answer is simple. We have dare to be happy. So 26 is eight. So that's taking action, movement, travel. So again, if you're on a journey here and you're not feeling the great, the greatest, this is just say, you know, try to be happy. Try to be in a positive mindset. Then you have 16, which is seven, uh, divinely guided. And that's Akasha, divinely guided, right there. Says it right there. It's not an emergency. So take a break. <laughs> Whatever it is, it is not an emergency. That is what Spirit wants you to tell you. Then we have drop it. So there may be something here, three, that you're working on, that you're trying to work out with others or something here. Uh, it's telling you maybe time just to drop it. It may not be permanently, but maybe just for now because it's right on to take a break. So you may just have to take a break from it and just drop it from for now. It's not an emergency. You know, be happy. You know, get your mind off of it. Uh, it's probably triggering you. It's something meant to be in your path, but I think you need to take a break, drop it for a while. It's not an emergency. It's triggering you. Go out, have some fun, dare to be happy, and just go back to it when the time is right. So let's see. What do we have from the Archangel Power? We have Solutions, Archangel Zapio. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. So this is temperance energy here. So this is, you know, things will balance out. There will be solutions. I, so I think once you take your mind off it, you drop it, you go out, you, you know, do something to make you happy. It's something that's just triggering you, triggering you too much. Then all of a sudden you may get like a light bulb moment and you may like have a solution to whatever it is that you're going through. And it'll be very balanced. This is about balanced energy and having patience. Just have patience with the whole situation. Look at things from different angles, different objectives. Um, you know, healing, forgiving too. So I don't know if there's something you need to heal and forgive also in the situation, but it's telling you to have that energy too. And then we have six of Gabriel. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, promotions. So some of you may be getting awards, scholarships, or promotion, promotions in October or there on after, but this is fire energy. So this is uh, being very successful and getting uh, attention and accolades, being victorious. So whatever's going on here, uh, there'll be solution, there'll be victory, success. But I think you gotta take a break, take a break from whatever, uh, it's, this is kind of like going all into one big message. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes I get little messages. So if this resonates for you or pots may, take what resonates, throw away the rest. Then we have 10 of Michael here, air energy. We have a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. And there's the dare to be happy. Put the past behind you. So I feel like once you take a break, this is the, you know, an ending, but then a new beginning. And, and 10 of Michael, 10 of ear, that's all about, you know, um, thoughts, ideas, your mind. It's everything to do with uh, the mind. So maybe causing a lot of mental conflict within you, um, overthinking it, uh, being worried about it. But I feel like there'll be a happy solution. It'll be victorious. And then you can just end that situation and set out on a new beginning may need to just take a break from it for a while and drop it. It may not be an emergency at the moment. And then, like I said, I think it's triggering you. And Akash is saying, this is something you're supposed to go through, but you need to take a break. Go out and have fun, go out and be happy. You'll have a successful solution to this that will just end the situation, will end it victoriously, and then you can move on. All right, so this is like one big message for you, Taurus. So 
maybe an important message for some of you. Um, I'm not doing signs or anything like that um, because this is just spirit messages. So, okay, so let's get some tarot. So let's, um, let's see what's triggering you. What is triggering Taurus? How many is that? That's way too many. What's triggering Taurus? What is triggering Taurus? So we have the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So this may be something here that uh, you're trying to make plans to your destination. Like you, you're making plans, goals for the future. You know, something, trying to make something very balanced. Uh, Six of Pentacles, very equality, balance, give and take. Something very balanced you're trying to work towards, making those plans moving forward but it may be like imbalanced right now with the six of pentacle energy and it's really triggering you like why why is this not working <laughs> why is this not working right now and you just need to take a break you know take a break from it it's not an emergency go out have some fun just drop it for a while you can come back to it later yeah juggling things around yeah juggling Juggling too much around right now as you have the Ten of Michael there. So really, really trying to get the balance. As I said here, I said imbalance. And the Two of Pentacles is about imbalance. But this is the after tarot. So this person finds their balance. So you will find balance after you take a break, drop it. And then all of a sudden, boom, the solution will come to you. You can end it victoriously and then just move on. But it is something that you're supposed to go through, unfortunately, according to Akasha here. So let's see. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what else do we have. Um, what's the solution? What's the solution? Maybe we can get some clarity on that for you, Taurus. What is the solution? So we have justice in the Four of Cups. So it could be something in the justice system. I don't know. Or it could be... Um, this could be paperwork, documents, you know, maybe you're trying to file documents or something that you need to file, forms you need to fill out, and you're having like a really hard time doing it. And it's like the Four of Cups energy here. You're feeling very discontent and like discombobulated and just like, like bored with it already. Like, I just want to be done. But, you know, justice is also about um, balance in the situation and um, ha just getting the justice in it. So... I think, you know, the solution will come, you know, the scales will be balanced, you know, and the sword there, that is all about, you know, mental clarity. So I think you'll have mental clarity on what you need to do here. If it's something in the justice system or forms, papers, documents you're having a hard time with, and that's like, you just want to like, he's dumping the water out. Like you just want to like rip it up and say, I'm just done. I'm just done already. So that's why, you know, drop it and take a break because it'll come to you later. Once you let go of it, you see the paperwork kind of here. And it's like all of a sudden, boom, there it is. You know, you, you're able to complete it and just get the justice in it and just end it as with the Ten of Swords. So yeah, Knight of Wands. So you'll be able to take action and move forward passionately once this is completed. This is moving forward in a new direction. A lot of drive, ambition, and passion. And taking that action after this is finally ended and completing and you could just move on just move on something more exciting positive uh be an endeavor project anything here just moving on in life feeling just relieved relieved okay is there anything else so we have the hierophant here um and we have that's your energy taurus Three of Pentacle energy. So again, you're going to still try to work on this. Three of Pentacles is like working, learning, teamwork, collaboration. So I feel like, you know, you're working on this, you're working on this, and you're trying to do the right thing with the Hierophant energy. It's something probably that you need to do. Something, again, you see like, like a book here, like paper, I'm getting like paperwork, forms, documents. Could be something in the legal system. If not, it's just something that you have to do for some reason. And you're having a really tough time. And this can be wise counsel. So maybe you just need to ask for help. Like go ask an advisor or somebody of wise counsel. Somebody that can help you do this. 
you know, take a break and then ask for help from a professional, work together with them, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's done, it's over, the justice has been served, it's done, I can move on now, um, do bigger and better things. Let's see what this is, the Empress. So, yeah, being uh, strong, grounded here, um, you know, maybe it's something like you, you have to fill out all this paperwork, the Empress, Emperor, Empress, somebody who can like own their own business or something like that. Entrepreneur energy, birth of new things, can be a mother, a child, a wife um, here. So it could be that maybe you're trying to, you know, own your own business and you're having a hard time with all the legal documents, the paperwork, everything you need to do. Maybe you're trying to do it on your own. Get help with the justice, with you know, just legal professional in the Hierophant, professional um, professional help and just, you know, and then be done with it. And then you can move on victoriously and very passionately and excited for this new beginning. And as I said, that moving on, Six of Swords, you know, moving all the troubled energy behind and moving forward with truth, clarity and a better perspective and a better place. Yeah, mental entrapment. You're, you're just really like stuck in your head. Like, like I'm just, I'm just stuck in this whole situation. I'm just stuck, 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 and confused. Stuck and confused with this. Okay, <laughs> wow, Taurus. So, if you do like the way I read, do please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly. Not bi-weekly. I do four readings a month now. I used to do bi-weekly. I do four readings a month now, four different readings. So don't miss out on that. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post them. Good luck to you here in your situation. And I'm sending you much uh, light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, and you will get balance in this situation with the temperance card here. Things will balance out. You'll be fine. Peace, harmony, balance. Um, so as I say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.